Ayala versus Herrera, Saturday at 1030. TV presents live from Alamo Stadium the 5A Regional Championship game in Texas high school football between the Churchill Chargers and the Judson Rockets and brought to you by the Frost family of banks who offer the personal response your business deserves by 99.5 KISS who rocks San Antonio by Smith Chevrolet at 1221 Broadway the Chevy Showplace and by Leonard's, fine home furnishings from traditional to contemporary in two great stores, Leonard's. And now, to bring you all the action, color, and excitement of today's game, KMOL-TV sports director George McKenzie and Rick Lozano. We are gathered here this afternoon. afternoon, and welcome to the regional 5A championship football game between Judson and Churchill High School. Certainly one of the most talked about games in a long, long time in San Antonio. The winner here will go on, of course, advance in the state championship playoffs. I'm George McKenzie. With me this afternoon, my colleague from Channel 4, Rick Lozano, and Coach Mike Garner from MacArthur High School. His teams have met both of these teams during the course of the season. He'll be here to add some insight and some color analysis. Rick, as I said at the opening, we have a lot of people who have compared this game in some ways to the Brack Lee game 19 years ago. In fact, that was the last time that there was a commercial television broadcast of a playoff game here in San Antonio. You were at that game, and the excitement here is electric. The stadium is just about filled up. What other things can you think of that compare to that day 19 years back? Had I been smart, I'd have stayed at home and watched it on Channel 4. That's one of the things that immediately comes to mind, George, but uh, no, you're right. This uh, game has created, it's generated much interest citywide. It's for the city championship, the uh, state regional championship, and the winner here goes on to the state semifinals. One of the things that strikes me is the fact that there's a comparison between this game and the Brack Lee game in that uh, we have one team, Churchill, that pounds it out. They like to grind out the yardage. They like to drive it down methodically, whereas uh, the Judson Rockets can hit you with one play, go all the way and bust it wide open. And, uh, Mike, I know you see this game as being somewhat in that light, uh, but uh, what else can we expect out here this, year, this afternoon? You can expect Churchill to give you a lot of misdirection football as well as their basic power attack. Jerry Comalander adapts his wing tee to whatever his personnel will allow him to do, and he will pass the football when he had Cody Carlson, and he'll run the football with uh, the McCampbell youngsters. So they're going to have a good football team there, and then, of course, Judson's attack is uh, big play football. Okay, both these teams, of course, 3-0 and in the playoffs. Let's put together a, a little synopsis for you of how they've gotten here today, show you some highlights of our playoffs uh, previous to this date, and we'll also talk a little bit about the game that these two played back on October 15th. We have prepared a tape on that for you, and we can go to that right now. Churchill stayed home in round one. While J.J. Lewis and the rest of the Rockets roared by Clark, 28 to 16, Wally McCampbell and the Chargers bulldozed Holmes, 28 to nothing. And so it was on to round two. And in round two, both schools headed up by 35 to Austin, where J.J. again broke away for long yardage, a dash that set up Judson's first touchdown against Austin LBJ. Rockets went on to win that one, 34 to 14. Meanwhile, Churchill put together another strong team performance, beating Austin Reagan 20 to nothing, the Chargers' second playoff victory. Week three saw both teams on the road again, where again, it was time for Churchill's defense to shine. The Chargers triumphed over Corpus Christi Carroll 21 to seven. And that same weekend, this long haul by Judson fullback Chris Pryor was the big play in the Rockets' 12 nothing win over Edinburgh. The game both these teams will remember most vividly is the one that took place the night of October 15th when Chris Pryor took a handoff early in the game and went all the way. Another big play by Judson that helped the Rockets win 14-0, keeping their record intact and handing the Chargers their only loss of the season, the loss they'll certainly be out to avenge this afternoon.
people look at that game and say, does one team or another have an edge? Judson won the big game, the big confrontation between the two of them back in October. But on the other hand, Churchill has been to the playoffs so many, many times before, even though a lot of the kids graduated from that state semifinal team last year. You still have people on this team who have been in the playoffs and their experience. So what do you do? Do you, do you give one team or another an edge in this one, Coach? I think you can give the edge to Churchill just at the beginning of the football game because of their experience. But at the same time, remember that Judson has already played now four football games that were very big ball games at the end of the year. So they're playoff ready, and I think it's going to be, a, after the very first few minutes, an even football game all the way. What would you expect early on in the ball game? this being such a big ball game, such a big crowd, the conditions are, are different. We're playing under uh, under natural daylight now. Is that going to make a difference in the ball game? Do you expect them to have butterflies early on? You know, one of the big advantages of playing in the afternoon is going to be the fact that Judson's kicking game has always been excellent, and her punter has caused a lot of problems for punt return teams. And I think you'll see this afternoon that probably Churchill will be able to return those punts. They fumbled one in the first football game. Valderas, the punter, is an excellent kicker, kicks it high and gives them a lot of space. Field position at the beginning of the ball game is very important, as everyone knows, and that'll be one of the things we'll look for. The first mistake, the first turnover, and the first opportunity to score. We talked about the importance of being the first to score, but uh, in talking to Coach Frank Arnold yesterday, he said, well, I don't think my kids are going to get down if, if we're scored on first, but if we get two or three behind, then that's sure going to change the complexion of the game. It does. You know, it will make a difference because both of them are such good defensive football teams. Very different defensive styles. If you'll watch Churchill, you'll see a, a methodical defense in terms of lining up and playing the same position. They believe that they can learn best by being in the same place and practicing against technique, whereas Judson's never in the same place twice. They enjoy attacking. We are only minutes away from kickoff now. We have learned that uh, Churchill has won the toss of the coin. They will be receiving to the uh, south end zone and uh, Churchill and uh, Judson coming out to begin the ball game will be kicking off from the end zone to our north and they've got a strong 15 mile per hour wind behind them. So that should aid, uh, aid their cause early on. It looks like it would make a difference. I, it seems to be swirling down on the football field. You can't really tell up where the flags are if that's